camera in our next exciting episode. Yeah. <laughs> but after these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. What did you, uh, James, uh, what did you think of this art? The art was the best part. Um, I agree. I, I, I agree. First off, I love black and white. Probably the art it seemed most similar to was maybe Moby Dick, but not nearly as much like characterization. Um, it was a lot of detail. It was very specific, like very full. Um, not really splash, not very splash pages. It was pretty white on the white black. Like there's definitely some black and white art where it goes more on the black side. Um, and and texture, texture after mm, texture. It's like everywhere you texture. look, there's that there's that dot pattern. There's some like crackle stuff there's a paisley tie i'm looking at and like a pinstripe pair of pants like it's just like crazy amounts of texture and like like um um, panels on top of panels i love it when they do that yeah the paneling is really good we talked about like with the light bulb scene and how he like layers dialogue and uh the layout is is very well done like it keeps you moving it could have been pretty dry if it was just like a 16 panel square, 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 square. Oh, no um, kidding. Yeah, it's it's like I love the panel on panel. And then they do this cool thing. I'm looking at one right now when uh, when Mikey's about ready to make his film debut. He's got he's just about ready to put the helmet on or, or maybe he's taking his helmet off. And then they cut to like a like a a. a, a, a well, on the same page, they show a small television screen of of the reveal, and it's and it's and it's got lines across the television scene like you're like you're watching it on an old black and white television. I yeah. think it, I think these little good. little touches just make this book so good, and mm-hmm. I did not finish reading this series. It went fifteen issues, and I think I'm on board. That's for, not too long for getting. To getting into the series, I want to know who murdered. Well, we don't. Uh, the, 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 the autopsy says um, that uh, he died of natural causes, but his uh, son's gut reaction is that's not the case. So we got a murder mystery. Mm. Murder mystery. Uh, so James, did we find your new favorite comic? No, we did not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I actually rated Satellite Sam pretty low. Um, mo- I guess mostly because the I didn't care about the plot until the last three pages, and I didn't care about any of the characters. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I mean, like you, you kind of see what I mean. Like, but, uh, I guess they, I cared for the main, the son character a little bit, uh-huh. but other than him being the son, it was like, why do I? You know, like the characters never went in deep enough for me to be like, "Oh, this guy," uh, and the plot of him being late. It's like, all right, yeah, they uh, kind of, they kind but of when the murder happened and then when the sex stuff happened, those two reveals like made me maybe want to read future issues, but they came so late that like it it the first issue itself just it wasn't so strong. It wasn't so strong, and it was, it was a, it was a tough read, right? There was a lot of bouncing yeah. around. That's, you had to figure it out. You had to figure it out. So if and you then when it, you figured it out, it wasn't like oh, right. It was like oh, because okay. th- th- there's a there's a we didn't talk about this, but there's a lot of uh, of of television jargon as well. Yeah, there's a lot of of stuff that they, the writers, ex- the the writer expects you to know, like television jargon from the 1950s <laughs> which i mean we I, I just i'd say most people do know a lot of it yeah i mean like you get through you get through it you can figure it out yeah you get you get through it but if that's not your bag then then it's not going to be your favorite comic but if you're willing to like i don't know like like <laughs> read your comics twice <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you're smart enough to get them on the first time. I I had to I had to really like slow down and really digest this. So so you ranked it. So I ended up ranking it uh, 29 behind Thief of Thieves and ahead of Rotten. Well, oh, Rotten, right? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, 
next week. The very bottom. There's always next week. There's always next week. We can we can hope for the next favorite comic every week. It would be kind of funny if you happened to have just like introduced them in the order that every time it was better and better. What do you mean? So like oh, right, right. Now, right. <laughs> like very bottom each is week. Autumn Lands and Justice League. So if like our first episode was Autumn Lands and then second episode was Justice League, it was... yeah, it's a better one every week. <laughs> every week. That would be cool. I yeah, I wonder what the um wonder what the matrix is on getting that right. Yeah. I could probably bet on horse racing or something. All right, next week. <laughs> uh is I it went... a cowboy? No, it's is a, it a super it's a superhero. Superhero. Oh, oh, uh, Larry, did you see uh, Justice League? Not yet. Not yet. Me I've either. I've heard some uh, back and forth reviews. I won't go there yet. But I did see <laughs> last week. We already did Justice League this year. With last Joff, week, Johns and oh, Jim Lee. That's right. Last go week. Go back and listen to it, people. Uh, episode. I'm going to just guess and say sixty. Sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> next week thor god of thunder volume one these are tons oh. and tons of thor have just been uplo- uplinked onto comiXology unlimited lots and lots of thor and this is a particular run that i really really enjoyed it's called oh. uh thor god of thunder the Here god the god butcher and we're yeah, gonna read. Butcher. That's a great name. We're gonna read issue one. It was written by Jason Aaron. With oh, we know him. Yeah, we've read some Jason Aaron. I'm trying to remember the book. What did we um, read, Jason Aaron? Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, Assad Ribic does the art. Art's fantastic, and it was published by Marvel Comics. Came out in 2013, I think. Oh, sweet. And so it's it's recent, and if you're a Thor fan... Star Wars, he did Star Wars. Star Wars, thank you very much. Uh, and he's still writing Star Wars. He writes all the books. He writes he did, a ton he of a books. Scout. Yes. He's a, a this is scout. So we've done th- three. We, we will have, next week, have done three Jason Aaron books, and we've done three Matt Fraction books. How about that? Oh, that means this has serious potential. Three, three, threes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Thor, God of Thunder, the God Butcher, just up on Comixology Unlimited, so you're not going to pay for it. And I know that you're going to download, well, they only they only let you download the, the entire, like the first five issues. <laughs> oh, what a shame. And you will finish this. This this was a great run. The, the hooks at the end. So come back next week. But before that, right. I have a special mm-hmm. mention. Uh, AMC's, uh, the cable channel AMC that w- brings you Walking Dead, also brings you a new television show called um, Robert Kirkman's Secret History of Comics. There's two episodes up on uh, their device. Watch it now. And Sweet. I watched I like the first... Robert Kirkman. He's the president of... Image Sorry. and the creator of uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Uh, the first issue, mm-hmm. uh, the first episode is all about um, Jack Kirby, oh. Stan Lee's rise in fame of uh, Marvel Comics. The this sec- doesn't seem that underground. Those are like the most famous guys. Well, there's some there's some back and forth uh, secret history. You got to watch the show. Uh, okay. And then there's and then then the, and then the second one, the second episode is. Um, all about the secret history of Wonder Woman. And there is a history there. I'll just leave it at that. So check those out. And uh, thank you for checking us out. Yes. Seattle's number one comic book podcast on the web at sn1cbp.com. And thanks for being here, episode 83. Thank you very much. I'll thank you. I'll thank you very much. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't. I can't tell if it's the chords, but like you know, a couple crackles tonight. But yeah, not nearly as bad as last week. Sweet. So there might have been more than one problem. You're just making it better and better.
I'll just I keep going. It. I'll keep going. Appreciate your work riding up, <laughs> going all the way up the daisy chain. I appreciate you uh, coming back every week, dude. I was yeah, all... well, I love it. Yeah, it's super fun, right? Yeah. What if we run out of comics? <laughs> I thought about that. <laughs> I thought about that, but it ain't going to happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Think I'll how see... long we'd have to do it for. Uh, look, I'll do the math tonight. <laughs> we well, because new ones come out too, I guess. Uh, yeah, we got millions of millions Probably of comments. Probably more than fifty-two every year. Yeah, easily. Uh, oh, all right. I bet there's probably fifty-two in the last week. <laughs> oh no! Not no, all no. of them are going to be your next favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. All right, James. I'll see you next week. Uh, oh, hold on. Like... We got to oh, here. Wait, we'll talk off camera. We'll talk off camera. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here.